just turned 20, not four days ago. The smoke is on. Let's take a look at this up and coming star in our business, coached by the legendary Marion Cole. Sean Tucker and Michael Goulian diving in in his extra 300 at 200 miles per hour. Look at the precision with which he's doing these aerobatic maneuvers, climbing straight up into this beautiful blue sky over Quonset State Airport. Gets forward stick and left rudder as he puts the airplane into a tumble, coming down through his own smoke. Swaps ends now, puts it into a flat spin. There's one turn. He quickly recovers with an aileron roll and a half and dives down. He's going to get rid of his altitude for all the energy he needs. We are seeing, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Coleman's second air show performance. Slow rolling the airplane now, quickly increasing the roll rate on the upline. He's going to stop the airplane in midair. He's going to back it up. Now watch this. Does the torque roll. You saw Sean Tucker do it. This young man, 20 years old, backing it up like a school bus. How about that? Let's hear it for Kevin Coleman. I love the precision with which he does his rolls across the show line. Does an ascending knife edge spin. Points it right back toward the ground. Bill Stein, another of his coaches, along with Michael Dooley and Sean D. Tucker and Marion Cole. This is called the centrifuge, the outside shoulder rolls along the show line. as he goes up here, up 45, he'll pull for another 45, he's going to make half a stop sign in the sky, there's another 45, watch him pull 45 across the top, pushing on the stick, nice job, now a quick two point of a four point roll, gains some energy now, snap pull in the airplane one and a half times. Now let's watch him as he does a mini loop. A beautiful barnstormer's loop, but doing it all at about 300 feet of altitude. You'll notice that he is performing higher today than we saw some of Sean D. Tucker's performance. This is because, as I mentioned, this is his second air show site. His first one being down at Shreveport, Louisiana just a couple of months ago. He is working his way down to lower and lower altitudes, earning his aerobatic competency so that he can then eventually get down to a surface level waiver. He keeps it right at 500 feet for all of his maneuvers. A quick aileron roll, pulls leg right up into the vertical. Now watch him go across the top, snap rolls once, and twice, and three times, holds it upside down. Now he'll look at the runway, pull hard on the stick, come back through. That is called the triple avalanche. The inside barn storming loop with three inside snap rolls or high speed stalls on the top. Now he'll get up into what we call a shark seat, straight up. A slow roll on the way up. Now watch him as he gets the roll stop, pushes the stick forward, it comes down to 45 and continues to roll the airplane. That is called the shark's tooth. Set up for a barnstorming hammerhead stall turn in just a moment. Kevin has competed at the national level, placing third in the 2008 United States National Aerobatic Championship when he was just 18 years old. Now he'll run it out of airspeed, zero airspeed, push hard on the left rudder pedal. There's the hammerhead stall turn. Beautifully executed. It looks so simple, but it's not because he has to get almost to zero airspeed and still have enough drop wash over the field to make that turn. Three quick inside snap rolls puts him up at a thousand feet. Kevin plans to continue to fly air shows and pursue a full-time sponsorship after he graduates from college. Kevin wants to thank his dad, his family, Marion Cole, Sean D. Tucker, Michael Julian, and Bill Stein for all of their help and support. And he also wants to thank his sponsors, MT Propeller, Shaden Precision Eyewear, Oregon Aero, and Sky Tech Start Starters. And he'll be bringing it into
to land and I think he's going to be coming back in front of the crowd and I will share with him that uh, big thank you to the folks at Shea 